my buddy Sensa looked sharp, first three, the fourth. Yeah. He, he told us, uh, he says, I'm a guy who likes to pitch on the black. That's what he told us, but he was just missing spots left a couple up, including the two fastballs for the homers. Yeah, I got I got to look at the fastball to Upton. Looks as though it was down to me. I got to go look at say, it. He may have said down. Yeah, he said, he said the two fastballs were in the middle. Okay. Yeah, I thought the middle. Yeah, I mean, uh, Upton's a good low fastball hitter in the middle, middle end. Okay. And that's what he got. Okay. Got it up in the air. You know, he hit it solid. Wind helped it, but it was well hit. Uh, the one to Suzuki was up. That was up. But I thought his stuff was fine, you know, 93, 4, 5 consistently, good tight slider down. Missed with some change-ups, but, uh, you know, you missed some spots for the two walks, but made some good pitches on a couple of strikeouts. Uh, punched out Trout inside, punched out Marsh inside. I thought his stuff was fine. Yeah, you felt it held through it? Yeah, the yeah, he was fine. It was, yeah, he just missed two spots, and they – and. You know, one guy with big power, and Suzuki hit a, you know, hit a ball in the right part of the park for him for a homer. Um, you look at a couple of the relievers that pitched. I thought Estevez came in, had the two-out walk, but attacked the zone pretty well. And yeah. then Bard stuff was pretty nasty too. I thought Bard, Estevez, and Stevenson all threw the ball well. Stuff was good. Uh, again, like like their like their arsenal today. Uh, velocity was there with all three guys. Uh, especially Bard and Stevenson with their break-in pitches, they were fine. You know, they're they're. You know this, you know, you know this. The end of this week and into early next week, uh, they'll be in these games. So they're they're getting they're rounding into shape, which is great. And it just seemed like, as last year, when Stevenson kind of really found his stuff, what used his fastball also. Um, what do you think the next step is? I think just you know continue to polish his game. Uh, get ahead in the count. Uh, early in the year, I thought he was, uh, you know, the ball strike ratio wasn't great. Uh, second half, attacked with the fastball, attacked with the breaking ball, two strikes. His stuff's fine. He's just got to, you know, continue to be aggressive early in the count. Obviously, all the spring training caveats apply, but some runners left on base out there, the situational hitting, how are you feeling about just the approach of the at bats? Obviously, overall, overall fine. Yeah, they, you know, we didn't get it done today in this exhibition game, but. Uh, you know, overall, I think our, the intent uh, has been there. The swings have been there, just haven't produced it. Um, a couple things with um, Diaz catching. How do you feel that he's come along as a leader of pitching staff? I mean, it looks like well, he's getting comfortable with the staff more so each and every day. You know, the COVID year uh, when we traded for him, he didn't play. He didn't play until the you know the last 20 games or so. Last year was big for him to get to know the guys, and I think once he once he got in there pretty regularly, once he started hitting, uh, you know, I thought his interaction with the with the pitchers, with the coaching staff, you could see the confidence grow. Uh, this year, same. It was a little little late start here, didn't get here, uh, like a lot of players throughout baseball. It took him a while to get here, but uh, you know, his interaction with the pitching coaches, with the co with the pitching staff has been. Uh, you know, right where it needs to be. And I've seen the throw and improve Well, throw, yeah, great, two good throws today. Uh, threw it through Trout out. Uh, you know, Wade had a good jump and uh, stole that base. But, uh, you know, I've, arguably he's got the strongest arm in the league. Shevler with a hard double for you there, Dan. I know he had some big home run years in Cincy, but it hadn't always been healthy. I just wonder where you're seeing him as a potential lefty power guy. Well, uh, last couple of years, it's it's gone uh, it's gone awry for him. Uh, you know, hopefully this year he can resurrect. Uh, you know, it looked like at one time a really solid left-handed inning outfielder. Uh, what what he did in Cincinnati. Uh, that was a good swing there. Um, that's good to see. You know, that's one of the hardest balls he's hit, he's hit all spring. So. So we'll see. I mean, he's going to more than likely start the season in AAA. You know, he'll be down there trying to, I wouldn't say resurrect, but, you know, try to get back on the radar at 30 years old. But, you know, he's a professional bat that's shown some power. Uh, hopefully that shows up in Albuquerque. Thank you, bud.